The main reason why I wrote the second iteration of the simple auth module is because I wanted to have uh, as close implementation to a standard as possible with the with the little effort possible. Uh, so uh, that's why I chose to use a PHP, an existing PHP library that handles the OAuth2 server and all the authorization. So um, I chose to use the uh, the PHP the leak auth2 server implementation for several reasons. Uh, one is because it's uh, quickly becoming the de facto standard in the PHP community. And second, because it uh, being part of the, the PHP leak of extraordinary packages, um, it, uh, it comes with a, with a proven seal of quality, uh, meaning that uh, it has a lot of tests, it's, uh, it complies to the coding standards, and it has a, a, a minimum amount of downloads, and it's distributed using Composer, etc. If you're curious about the, uh, the quality, uh, or what is quality for the, uh, this group of packages, the PHP, the leak, uh, of extraordinary packages, um, just go to this website and you will learn more about this. Um, but uh, one of the one of the things that uh, I wanted to get from the library is uh, getting all the gotchas out of the way and uh, just going to the to to this side. The this is the the documentation side for the the package that I was telling you about the auth to server. Uh, you can see that uh, one of the first things that you can find is uh, a diagram with which grants you should use when using auth. Um, there are many ways to to talk to to a backend uh, from a, from a client, and uh, depending on the nature of the app and the relationship with the builder of the backend, uh, you will want to use one grant or uh, another. You can see here that uh, this states that there are five grants that are used. Uh, one is the authorization grant, uh, the authorization code grant. This is the one that uh, you are probably uh, very familiar with. Uh, it's the one that uh, allows you to, for instance, log in with uh, with GitHub or uh, the, the the one that you use when you want to build an app that uses the GitHub information. Um, then there's the implicit grant, there's the client credentials, the uh, resource owner password credentials grant. The password grant is what it was currently implemented uh, or a flavor of what it was currently implemented in in the simple auth module version one. And then the refresh grant. Uh, which is just the exchanging your token using a refresh code token. Sorry. Um, so uh, just for free, we get support for all of this. We only have to tie that up with the with the entity system in in Drupal and uh, have some configuration on top of it. And that should be that should be it. Uh, coming back to which grants to use, you will see that uh, depending on the case that you want. Uh, you that you are into, you will want to use one grant or another. There is uh, this nice diagram, like for instance, you will want to use client, client credentials grant here in situations where uh, you own both the backend and the application talking to the backend, uh, 